welcome back to the water. So what is the number? Analogy. So analogy, there are three varieties. Today we'll take a look at what is this number analogy type of questions. So we'll go for an example, you'll get a clear idea about it. So let's start from the example 16. 16 is to 25. Same way, 49 is to what? At a glance, everybody say the answer is what? 64. So, well, this is 4 square. This one is 5 square. So, left hand side we have 4 square and 5 square. A right hand side pair we have 49 and something missing over here. 49 is what? 7 square. So, left hand side is 4 square, 5 square. Right hand side is 7 square and next word number is 8. So, 8 square. So the answer must be 64. It's perfectly all right. There's nothing wrong with the answer. But at the same time, we have to look at the given answer choices as well. So what are the given answer choices? That means among the answer choices, given answer choices, we don't have 64. The next possibility that strikes our mind is like, you know what? The nearest answer is 63. Let's go with the answer 63. If the question asks you for an approximate answer, then 63 is the answer. But in this case, the question is not really asking for you to find an approximate answer. The question is asking for the exact answer. So that is, how do we deal with this question? 4 square, 5 square, 7 square, 8 square. We know the answer is 64. 64 is not here. So what's the next possibility? If 64 is not here, can we go with the answer 84? No, it doesn't work. So we have to look at some other possibility. What's the other possibility we can have here? Other possibility? Anything else? Let's take a look at that. So in this case, 16 and 25, there is a connection. 16 plus 25. So we are looking at that from a different angle. 16 plus 9 is 25. Same way. 49 plus 9. 49 plus 9, that is 58. So that case, we have the answer to is 58 is here. So in this case, 64, there is nothing wrong with that answer, but the answer choice is not here. So the answer here would be 58. So this is the simplest example of a number analogy question. So we have to look at that question from one angle and if you're not really getting the answer, you have to look at that from a different angle. And if you look at from the second angle, still you are not really getting the answer, you have to look at from a third possible angle. For example, this question, the answer choices are given in a slightly different way. For example, rather than these answer choices, it's given as, so that is what would be the answer. We see that the possible answers are 58 and 64. Now we don't have the answer 58 or 64 here that means what's the next possibility we can have think about it so is there any other pattern here 16 and 25 49 and uh, 58 is there any other possibility here we have checked 4 square 5 square 7 square 8 square the answer is what 64 that answer choice is not here Ah, next possibility plus 9. 16 plus 9 is 25, 49 plus 9 is 58. So that is the answer is 58. But 58 is not among the second set of answer choices. So what do we do? All right, so look at any other possibility we have. 16 and 25. Right hand side, we have 49 and what? Well, it's the same question, but the answer choices are different. That is how it happens. For the competitive exam, the question may be uh, same, but you know what the answer choice would be? Different, and that makes the question a little more challenging. I'm pretty sure some of you have the answer by this time, then what is the connection we have, or what is the other possibility we have? Six, I mean 16, it is one plus six. One plus six is what? One plus six is seven. So that means a digital sum, one plus six. Same way, 25, two plus five, 2 plus 5 is what? 7. So this is 7. So left hand side we have 7 and 7. That means 1 plus 6 is 7, 2 plus 5 is 7. Right hand side look at it. 
4 plus 9. Well, 4 plus 9 is what? 4 plus 9 is 13. So left hand side we have 7 and 7, right hand side must be 13 and 13. So look at the answer choices. 7 plus 5 is 12. It's not 13. That cannot be the answer. 8 plus 6 is 14. That cannot be the answer. 9 plus 4 is 13. Yes. And 6 plus 8, 14. That cannot be the answer. So 94 can be the answer in this case. 94. See that? The same question. We have different possibilities of answer. Different angles. We have to look at that question from different angles. And of course, we have five varieties of questions from this area. Let's say we have uh, seven, seven and 42. Seven and 42, same way, 10 and what? What is the answer? These answer choices are not applicable for this question. These answer choices are for previous question. So seven and 42, what is the connection you see here? Seven and 42, there are two ways of looking at it. Seven into six, seven, into the number which is less than 7. That means 7 minus 1 is 6. 7 into 6 is 42. Or, there is another way of looking at it. 7, 7 square is 49. So 7 square minus 7 is 42 as well. So look at the right hand side. Right hand side, 10. The number before 10, one number less than that, it is 9. 10 into 9 is 90. Or, you may, you may take it as what? 10 square minus 10. 10 square minus 10. 10 square minus 10, it is 90. So ultimately we have the answer 90. See that? So the next one we have is 144 and 196. And on the right hand side we have uh, 484. What is the missing one here? So 144 and 196. So 144 is what? You must be familiar with this kind of numbers. For example, this is 144. We know that it is 12 square. And 196, it's 14 square. So 12 square and 14 square. Right hand side, 484, it's 22 square. So 12 plus 2 is 14. Same way, 22 plus 2 is what? 24 square. 24 square is what? Any idea? It is 576. Is there any other patterns possible? Definitely, there are number of patterns, number of varieties are there. So which one is the next one? Think about 28 and 65. 28, 65. So let's say 217. And what's the next number? Any idea? So what is 28 and 65? So if you know what exactly they are, then it is easy for us to deal with this question. So there are a couple of ways of looking at this question. What is it? First one, if we look at the square pattern, so this is five square, so 28 is what? Five square plus three. And 65 is eight square plus one. So five square plus three and eight square plus one. And 217, what's the nearest square? What I know is 15 square is 225. So 15 square is 225. This would be what? 15 square minus 8. However, that doesn't make any sense, any specific pattern. So how do you deal with it? Anything else come to your mind? Well, I see this number 28 and 65. That reminds me of something else. What is that? So it is what? 3 cube is 27. So 3 cube plus 1. 3 cube is 27, 27 plus 1. In this case, 65. 65 is what? 4 cube. 4 cube is 64 plus 1. It is 65. So 3 cube plus 1, 4 cube plus 1. And 217. 217 is what? Is it a cube plus 1? If it is a cube plus 1, what kind of a cube it is? 5 cube is 125, everybody knows that. And how about 6 cube? If you are not sure about it, this is the way to find the 6 cube. 6 cube is what? 6 square into 6. 6 square is what? 36. So this is 36 into 6. 36 into 6, 30 into 6, 180. And 6 into 6, 36. So 180 plus 36. So 180 plus 36, 180 plus 20, 200. So that is 216. So 6 cube is 216. So this is 217. 
So definitely it must be 6 cube plus 1. So left hand side is 3 cube plus 1 and 4 cube plus 1. Well, right hand side, right hand side pair, 6 cube plus 1, so 3 and 4, so 6 and 7, so 7 cube plus 1. 7 cube is what? Again, if you are not sure about it, 7 cube is what? 7 square into 7. 7 square is 49. 49 into 7. 49, you take it as 50. 50 into 7. 50 into 7 is 350. But what we need is 49 into 7, correct? So 49 and 50 difference is 1. That 1 into 7 must be subtracted from 350. How come we get the 350? 50 into 7. Instead of 49, we have taken 50. 50 into 7 is 350. From that 350, 49 and 50 difference, that 1, 1 into 7 must be subtracted. 350 minus 7, 343. So 343 is 7 cube. 7 cube plus 1, 344. So that's the answer. Well, any other patterns possible for these kind of questions, number analogies? Have you seen any other patterns? Well, wide varieties of patterns, wide varieties of patterns. Let's take another one. Now, let's say we have uh, 316 and 425 on the right hand side we have uh, 649, uh, what's next now? What is the answer? So in this case, what is the pattern? We have 316 and 425. So 316 and 425. 316 is not a perfect square. 316 is not a perfect cube. 425 is not a perfect square. 425 is not a perfect cube. And 649, similar thing. 649 is not a perfect square, it's not a perfect cube. So what else? Anything else? Another possibility, you may take the difference, 316 and 425. The difference you take, 316 plus 100, 416. Plus 9. So 109 is the difference. And if you apply, if you apply the same 109 on the right hand side, well, 7, 649 plus 100, 749 plus 9. So 758 can be the answer. Well, if you have 758 among the answer choice, it's perfectly all right. But let's assume that 758 is not among the answer choice. There is no such a chance. Because if you have such an answer choice, the question is really easy. When it comes to competitive exam, you cannot really expect the questions are so easy. So what else we have a pattern? So here uh, you can see that interesting pattern, 3 and uh, 16. What is it? 3 and 16, this 3 and 4 square. And 4 and 5 square. This, this side we have what? 6 and 7 square. 49 is 7 square. 6 and 7 square. So 3 and 4 square, 4 and 5 square. So right hand side, what we have? 6 and 7 square. Next one must be 7 and 8 squared, 7 and 8 squared. So 7 is what? 7 itself, 8 squared is 64, 7, 64. That would be the case. See that? The pattern is totally different from what we have seen so far. So this is something you can expect in what? Number analogy type of questions. This is number analogy video number one. Of course, we'll have more videos on number analogies and all other areas as well. So stay tuned. Don't forget to click the subscribe button for future videos. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time.